I'm from South Sudan. I was born in Sudan. As a little kid, I moved to Kenya. We lived there in a refugee camp. From there, we got accepted to come to Australia. Came to Australia in 2001, been here since then. I've got Nigerian roots. I uh, started playing when I was 16. Sort of fell into the game. I didn't sort of fully decide to play. I fell into it at school. I went through that program very, very fortunate. There's a strong talent pathway in AFL Queensland and um, got drafted to the Suns. I was born in Fiji, came across uh, when I was four, 1987. Um, obviously coming from Fiji, Polynesian background, very big on rugby. So, you know, we came over here, there was no rugby at all. I was in school, I used to play basketball at lunch and no one really played, so my, all my friends, they played footy. And um, one of them invited me down to come for training and I just started loving it from there. Although I, I didn't look like any other kid, and no other kid had sort of dark skin or curly hair like me. Um, so I guess it took me a while, I guess, late in my late teenage years to, to feel comfortable in my own skin and be proud of you know, being Fijian. And... I was involved in some very high profile uh, racial incidents. That uh, a player in this day and age could racially vilify an opponent, and I hope to never see it again. At the end of the day, when I look back at my experience, words hurt, but the challenge is just having people speak for you and they have no idea the actual struggle. Us players, uh, ambassadors are going to go into the community, go into our areas, just promote community engagement, cultural engagement. Uh, I've got All Nations Camp, which, which I've been involved in. Uh, I've got some uh, community development programs with uh, the, the State League. It's using our backgrounds and social awareness and cultural awareness to then promote that throughout the community. So I'm a multicultural projects officer, so pretty much just helping with all the, uh, the multicultural programs that we have here in Victoria. We're finding that a lot of the communities that are just jumping on board, um, you know, I guess a big driver in that is the big Sudanese community. Once they do you know, get their first training session, the first game under their belt, they actually fall in love with the game pretty quickly. My role would be just going around club and talking to people about the program, just teaching kids some skills and talking to other multicultural people. And yeah, that's what it's all about. I think it's just, uh, just getting to schools, getting to footy clubs. Yeah, it's working pretty well. You know, a lot of them are very foreign to the game, you know, haven't really touched the footy in their first few sessions, but it's, it's pretty exciting. Once they do get a hold of it um, and show the opportunity, they really take on board. I probably haven't seen that excitement for a long time. These guys were amazing and sort of um, inspired me and I was like, wow, that's, that's the purity of the game, that expression. These programs bring them together, they can feel comfortable in that environment because obviously they're all the same. And then once they do, um, hopefully empower them that they can actually feel really confident within themselves that when they do go back to their, their footy clubs that they're still sort of proud and, and happy with their culture and they do bring something different to the game. This program gives everyone an opportunity to create social inclusion where people actually love coming to training and more importantly love, love playing the game. And that goes across the board with <laughs> you know, all, all, all cultures. They look up to them and say one day I want to be that, I want to do that and yeah, one day some kids will actually achieve that.